What's good, y'all? It's your boy, B, man. I'm back with another video. And as y'all can tell by the title, man, this one's a little bit special. So it's been three years now, three years that we have had this car wrapped. So I wanted to give y'all a close-up look at the car, give y'all my review on having a vinyl-wrapped car. If it's something that y'all want to do, maybe something to consider after you get this information. And you feel me? Just kind of talk about my experience, man. Let's go ahead and run that intro, and then we're going to go ahead and get to the rest of the video, man. All right, man, so like I said, man, it's been three years since this car has been wrapped, man. It's been three years. I don't know where the time has gone, but here we are, man. So first of all, let me just go ahead and shout out Ryan and Rab over at uh, Signature Image, man, Vallejo, California, man. Special shout out to y'all. Appreciate y'all for the work that y'all did on this car. So for those that haven't kept up, man, this is a vinyl wrap. It is a wrap. A lot of people on the videos and even in person that haven't kept up with the build, had no clue that this was a wrap the whole time but it is am i gonna give the name of the color no y'all might as well stop asking me that and it's not that i think i'm too cool for school or nothing that but i'm just gonna be honest when it comes to a car as a real car builder the last thing i want to see is somebody literally rocking the same exact car as me like that's just not what i'm gonna let happen but i will tell y'all that it's a wrap and you know what i mean y'all just put your own creativity to work man i appreciate the love from everybody that that you know shows me love on the color and wants to know the information but don't ask me what color it is man especially in the legend form don't ask me what color because I, I don't i don't purposely want to sit here and give somebody the information to literally have the same exact looking car as me that's out i've had the car wrapped three years now uh and it's been it's been easy in some cases so to give you all a little background man this car has been garage kept for the most part the whole time i ended up moving into my house probably like the month after i got it out the wrap shop um, does it come out in any weather conditions no not usually more of this year i've been bringing it out uh in the rain and everything else just because i've been having stuff to do especially doing the back and forth sacramento trips the weather's been a little iffy so it's definitely been caught in the storm in the past for sure um so i can say that it's definitely held up but the one thing that I will say about wraps, man, wraps are not as forgiving as paint. Let's talk about that. Wraps are not as forgiving as paint. You know, when it comes to like any little surface scuffs, surface scratches, stuff like that, you know, you can get some compound and some good wax on your paint and you can get it off. With, with, with wrap, it's not quite like that. You might be able to save it with a shitload of spray wax, but and maybe a little bit of heat. Um, some wraps are forgiving with heat. You could put like a heat gun on it or something like that on something surface and it might make it go away. But like I said, it's all a gamble. So you definitely got to be more careful with your wraps than you do with paint. That's for sure. Um, outside of that, man, wraps definitely have a nice gloss. It really all dep depends on the brand that you go with. As y'all can see the reflection, and my car is a little dusty because I've been driving. But as you can see, the reflection on this car is crazy. And that's why a lot of people, uh, when they see it in person, they think it's paint because it has a really nice reflection to it. I will admit that I've put like a million shit loads of wax on this car, specifically spray wax to kind of keep it protected, keep the glow, keep the shine. Like I said, it is garage kept. So, I mean, this car is pretty much kept up like anybody would with a decent paint job. Garage kept, always wax, always detailed. And you know what I mean? Your wrap should definitely last for a while. They usually say that wraps last like maybe three to five years. Like I said, I'm on year three and I can tell y'all I got a lot of life still left out of this wrap, man. So, you know, wrap is kind of also like with paint, man. However much you decide to take care of it is however long it'll decide to last for you. That's really all it is. Um, do I run it through car washes? No, I do not. I do not go through brushed car washes, which you shouldn't even do with your paint. Here and there, I might go through a touchless, but for the most part, it's hand wash only. And like I said, hand wash, spray wax, nice little wipe downs, call it a day. That's really all it took for me to keep up with this wrap. So there are certain wrap brands that you will wanna go with if you wanna have like the most nice reflection and nice, most, I guess you say realistic looking color wraps that you could get to where people do think it's paint um one of the ones i like i like avery 
I like KPMF. Um, I like 3M. Um, then pretty much the top ones I could think of. Uh, I see a lot of people use Tech Wrap. Uh, I heard that's pretty cool. Um, and there is one brand local uh, out up north in California. Uh, if y'all are familiar with Paradox, man, I know Paradox has a brand of wrap. I'm honestly not sure about the durability of it, but I've seen uh, a few cars wrapped in the uh, in the wrap colors that are under his brand. They do look pretty good. Like I said, I just don't know the history of it since he hasn't been around as long as some of the pioneers that I already mentioned. So I'm just keeping it honest. But shout out to Paradox, man. Like I said, you know, he's definitely doing his thing with the wraps. It's dope that you got your own brand. So definitely keep up, you know, keep up with that success, brother. No, no hate my way, all love. But um, yeah, man. So, you know, those are some of the rap brands I suggest. One of the reasons I think people think this car is paint is because it's not really a, a out there color. Um, it is something that does kind of have an OEM look to it, especially in this low light, like what we're seeing right now. It looks like a complete factory color, but y'all seen this car in other videos when the sun is out and stuff like that. This car definitely gives more of a purplish shimmer. It can look black at night, and it kind of has this nice little burgundy-ish color tone when the sun is like, you know, partly cloudy, I guess you could say. So it definitely has this color shift, but it's more of a subtle color in general. I think that's why a lot of people think it's paint. But yeah, man, this wrap has been cool, man. Like I said, it's definitely upheld to shine over the last three years so far. Um, I know I've talked about painting the car, but I did make up my mind that it will get painted, but I'm not gonna do it until, you know, this wrap is starting to show obvious, you know, signs of wear and tear. And then at that point, we'll go ahead and paint it. But, you know, the more I look at the car, it's like, man, the wrap is solid. The wrap is super solid. And then with some stuff with wrap that I do like, especially if you're gonna rock a custom color, like, you know, with some candy paints and stuff like that, if you were to paint your car and Lord forbid somebody hit it, you can't really color match it. Usually nine times out of 10, you gotta repaint the whole thing. But at least with wrap, as long as the wrap brand itself still has that color in stock where you can order it, make sure you order a little extra wrap just in case, have your little roll at the house. But say somebody scratched my door, we could literally rip it off rewrap it everything is matched just the way it looks seamlessly and you wouldn't even tell the difference so that is one thing i do like about the wraps man but i think the only thing that i complain about is that my door jams aren't wrapped um like i said that's usually the giveaway is the green door jams that's always the giveaway but you know fast forward i've seen a lot more people wrapping door jams so you know it's definitely something that is possible you know, if y'all do decide to go down the wrap route, you could definitely have your jams wrapped. Of course, nine times out of 10, they're gonna charge you. Everything is possible these days, but it costs money. So that's just the reality of it, right? <laughs> that's just the plain reality. But outside of that, like I said, man, I have no complaints. Uh, just make sure you use really soft cloths, man. Terry cloth towels, you know what I mean? Don't use like no bath towels on your wrap. It's pretty much the same like paint, man. You gotta be real meticulous with a nice paint job, just like you would a wrap, man. Don't use certain towels. You don't want to have the swirl marks on your car, little surface scratches. You want to avoid all that. Soft towels, hand washes. Make sure you use the good soap, man. I showed y'all the soaps that I used in one of my previous videos. Um, you know what I mean? Use the good products. And, and, you know, if you can, garage keep it. You know, put a car cover on it, man. It's, it's ways to keep up your wrap just the same way you keep up your paint, man. If you think that you can wrap a car but you're not really meticulous about your paint wrap ain't for you if you're not meticulous about a paint job then you will not survive a wrap period you will not because wrap is definitely not as forgiving as paint let's just keep that let's just pin that right there if you don't listen to anything else i've said listen to that wrap is not as forgiving as paint paint most people can bring back in a million ways wrap no not at all but yeah, man, that's just my little knowledge and experience on it. But that's pretty much it. Just go ahead and give y'all one more quick walk around of the car. Like I said, three years with it wrapped, no issues out of it. Make sure you find you a good wrap person as well because that can also make a difference. I got this car wrapped and I have not had to go back. I've not had to go back for anything. The wrap has stayed up. I haven't had no peeling issues, none of that. It's been really, really solid. Definitely appreciate Ryan and Rab over at Signature Image for that, man. Appreciate y'all work. 
appreciate y'all efforts and you know my token of appreciation is just keeping up with it man so yeah that's pretty much it y'all know what to do like the video subscribe to the channel click that notification bell if you haven't already man keep up with the uploads i'ma holler y'all on the next video man peace